Right, welcome along to a, uh, a beautiful Derbyshire day, Spring Bay. Clear blue skies, can't complain to that and I mean don't let it don't let that fool you, it's still not warm. It was minus three this morning. Um but we've got one or two bits going on at the minute. Um down to our last three sheep to lamb which is good <coughs> <coughs> I apologize my lovely wife decided to share her dose of COVID with me so yeah last three sheep to lamb I've just come in to the barn mum's horse which is roaming about freely has had that bin out and eaten half a bag of corn by the looks of it so yeah probably not ideal for it the next thing on the agenda is effectively carving so what I want to do um, is clean out at least one or two of these end pens so that we've got some space to set up individual clean pens for when they do carve uh, they could do with a bit of a clean out down the front here as well um, so in order to do that first of all I need to clean out the mucky put this, this at the back end of the at the back end of the shed there that's got all of pretty much all of last year's muck in it um, and stuff we've accumulated so far from scraping out the front here this winter um, we'll get that out distributed to various fields around the farm because uh, we don't have a ring fence farm so yay lots of road work um, We'll get that done and then we can get these guys cleaned out. From yeah. yeah, I think so too. Isn't it? <laughs> 
rain over the last few days. Uh, so hopefully it's just dried up a little bit today, just enough that we're not going to disappear off down into the bottom of the delf down there. Um, so I'm going to tip these first couple of lots just under this wall over here. Uh, that'll make it nice and easy to spread on this field. Um, it'll also give me a bit of a better idea as to how wet the ground is and how brave I feel because the gateway into the next field is right down the bottom there so you've got to go down the steepest part of the bank so if it's looking like it might be a little bit touch and go I think, I think we'll not bother doing that today uh, it actually greened up really nicely we did have the sheep down here just on these fields prior to lambing um, this last what a week and a half? Yeah, it's greened up re really nicely. So it's obviously not like long grass, but it's looking looking quite reasonable. This is a really, really like this trailer, but 
when you've got a big load of muck on like this, the back door doesn't really swing up properly. So when you tip it up, you end up with all the muck getting caught on the back door and then all the weight's at the back of the trailer and I'm always worried that he's going to tip the whole thing up. So you have to take the back door completely off when you want to tip it out, which is a pain in the arse. Um, I have thought a couple of times about making some sort of a thing so that the door lifts, because you can get trailers with hydraulic doors that lift up and over, and whether I could do some engineer something like that. I don't know, it's a lot of faff though. There we go. Right, so that's the back door back on. Um, the reason for tipping under the trees there is because hopefully I'm thinking I might mow these fields later in the summer. Uh, so I don't really want to put a mucky where I'm potentially going to be mowing, but there's no way I'm going to mow under the, right under those trees there, so it's just kicking it out of the way really. Um, yeah, this ground's firmed up quite nicely, quite reasonable really. So we can probably risk going down the bank and dropping some in the bottom field next time. So, I'm just trying to clean out these pens now. This this first one I did a couple of days ago because I don't know if you can see the couple of cows in the front there. That, the black cow was obviously very close to calving, so we need to get her one sorted out pretty quick. Um, and then there's a, a couple more of the cows straight ahead there. That are, um, very close, to, well getting close to carving so we want to get this one cleaned out as well so we've got, we've got a nice clean pen for them to, for the new carves to go in. Um, it's not the easiest job in the world, it's just doing it with a, with a bucket. Um, yeah, ideally I'd have a, a set of spikes with a, a jaw that clamps over the top of them. The other thing that's not ideal with this setup is um, this bucket I bought for an old tractor that had an old trimmer loader on it and it used to fit, it used to tilt back lovely on there. Uh, I'm this wrong one. But on this loader it never quite seems to crowd properly so everything tends to kind of slop out the front of it somewhat more which is really annoying um, I don't know if there's a way to adjust the amount that the, the loader tips back or, or what but it, it just doesn't seem to work quite as well on this track so it's just a bit of a pest and pull the bed apart like this a little bit and then go back in and get a scoop of it. You can see how it all tends to fall out the front. It can do sometimes, I'll throw it back a little bit but then because we're backing out of the building and then back up a hill, it tilts it forwards a bit more. Uh, and you tend to lose a bit on the driveway. So, you know, once you've finished the job, you have to go around tidying up after yourself. Yeah, that's our, our new car fin just in there. That you might not be able to see it from where the camera's positioned at the moment, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll get a little look at that. Black calf, it's nice. Uh, Angus Limousin Cross Calf. Uh, it's the first one of these indoor cows that's, due, that's been due. Um, and like I say, there's there's a couple more looking fairly imminent in the next couple of days, probably. Um, and the rest of them shouldn't be far off, really. But it's now getting to the time of year where it's a question of 
do we get them out and carve outside, or do we hold them in for a little bit longer? Um, because the grass is starting to grow now, um, so they, they might be all right going out. Um, right, so I think we're on to what is probably going to be the last scoop out of here. suspect we'll probably need to use the fork to just get the last little bit in so we can get actually in the scoop. two more in that other pen where the majority of the cows are that are looking fairly imminent so we'll get them two into the next this pen I've just cleared out uh, and then we've got that that should work out quite well hopefully for carving the, 